Well, it was quite windy on Sunday and still breezy out the door early on as you're back to work on this Monday, finding gas prices lower, lowest prices that we've seen since April, according to AAA. Our weather story turns quite hot as uh, somewhat cool as it was, or at least unseasonably below average the last uh, several days. We're gonna soar above average now. By midweek, we could be into the mid 90s and the humidity comes roaring back too. Listen to Jacksonville's morning news all week for the first alert forecast. If you're gonna be traveling or welcoming in loved ones on the first full week of summer break, especially through Duval County, we'll update first alert weather and traffic. As quickly as Tropical Storm Arlene formed in the Gulf of Mexico, as expected, fizzled out and nothing developing in the tropics. You can follow daily updates, talking the tropics with Mike Burrish at WOKV.com. Our spotlight series, County by County, continues. We're focused on Clay County Monday. We'll focus on Nassau County Tuesday and Baker County Emergency Preparedness on Wednesday to round out the week. And you can always find more detail and depth and resources, tools to be prepared for the Atlantic hurricane season in our hurricane guide at WOKV.com. Multiple storylines we're following for you that have updates throughout the day. Out of Ponte Vedra and the uh, man who's called a hero for stopping a stabbing attack outside Chubby's restaurant in Ponte Vedra Beach over the weekend. Two victims still hospitalized where we're going to update their road to recovery. The suspect also hospitalized with what are, appear to be self-inflicted wounds. And even the man, the local hero, uh, who, the guy who's being called a hero, sustained pretty serious injuries. Uh, we're updating the motive in this uh, investigation and what more we know about the 18-year-old suspect at WOKV.com. California's attorney general points the finger of blame at the state of Florida for uh, dropping off 16 migrants outside of a Roman Catholic church in the uh, city of Sacramento, which is the state capital and a sanctuary city in the country. We're continuing to unpack that story for you through the day today. And two more Republican candidates are expected to get into the race for the White House this week. Former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor uh, Chris Christie are expected to join Governor DeSantis and Donald Trump and many more. Tim Scott, who's evidently going to be on The View today. Uh, Brian Kilmeade is going to be talking about that today, nine until noon on WOKV. So a lot we're wor working to unpack for you throughout the day. Be listening to 104.5 WOKV and get our breaking news alerts when you download the WOKV app on your phone.